day three of our novena to our lady of perpetual help and today we are going to reflect on the hands of mary in ancient greece and rome there was a well-established system of hand gestures used in oratory and rhetoric works have you ever wondered while looking at religious icons why the figures of christ and the saints make certain hand gestures each gesture has a specific meaning but for us we cannot really understand these gestures because during that time hand gestures were a form of language they were presenting something a figure of speech they were presenting a language behind the hands they were directing a vision or an object or something that was within the speaker classical greeks and romans developed a well established a form of language complex hand gesture code which was used in the agora or the senate during their private addresses or even in the classroom the gestures accompanied the oratory of course they were a public matter like what i have said during the time but for us we have to decipher the meaning if we look at the icon of our mother of perpetual help we are drawn by the flat pointing right hand of mary this pointing hand is the identifying mark of this type of iconography we have a greek word that describes these types of icons a form of iconography and it teaches us the correct understanding and the meaning behind the icon of our mother of perpetual help and even the understanding of the life of mary in the church if you see any icon of mary with this flat pointing hand towards the child jesus these form of icons are called odegetria odegetria meaning one who points the way these icons are called or maybe sometimes called theotokos odegetria or virgin odegetria the mother of god the mother who points the way so the hands of mary are pointing towards jesus who is the way the truth and the life mary is pointing towards jesus who is the source of our salvation the source for salvation for humankind and the virgin's head usually inclines towards the child if we turn our attention to the right hand we see that it is pointing straight into the heart the center of jesus a heart full of love and compassion the sacred heart of jesus a heart that directs us towards the cross where the infant seems to be looking to the heart that suffers for humanity and calls each and every one to god mary is pointing to the heart center of jesus in a very beautiful way the child jesus grasps the hand of the blessed mother he seeks comfort from his mother as he sees the instruments of his passion the position of mary's hands both holding the child jesus who seem like a small adult and at the same time presenting him to us convey the reality of our lord's incarnation that is true god who became also true man just as the child jesus fled into the arms of his mother when he was frightened so too do we flee into the arms of our blessed mother with childlike confidence whenever fear envelops our hearts just as the virgin mother consoled and comforted a divine child so too does she console and comfort us as spiritual children in our afflictions we can always come to her in our time of need and receive her help we pray that the virgin or the getria the woman who points the way may also point our life to Jesus through Christ our Lord